Hey everyone, it's Game Dev with Drew, and welcome back to a new episode. Did you know that 60% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel? Make sure to subscribe so you guys can keep up on my content. Today we're going to be looking at resources. And you guys seem to be loving my enemy videos, so we're going to be extending upon our enemies with resources. So, make a new folder called resources, and then we're going to go into our scripts and make a new script. We're going to have it inherit from something called resource, and then we're going to call it enemy resource base. It's just very arbitrary name. So what our resource is, is just something that can encapsulate a lot of data, and you can just push it out into whatever scripts you want. You can make a save game with resources, which there are other tutorials. So what we're going to do is make an enemy resource. So first, let's make a class name. So we can actually call this resource. And we're going to make a class name called enemy resource. And then we can go into our resources, go into our resources, and search for enemy resource. And look at that. We can make a new resource. So with that, we're just going to make, um, let's just make a brown Yeti. Um, and the reason why I chose brown Yeti is because... I have this little guy right here. So in our resources, we can see that there's nothing here. But we can start making things here if you guys remember what export variables are. So let's make an export variable. Export var texture is going to be a texture. So when we save that, look at that right here. There, need, there needs to be a texture for our brown Yeti. So let's just drag in our brown Yeti. Look at that. Perfect. Now, we want better, different enemies, right? So let's just make an export var for... How about let's make an export var for our health? And that will be returning an integer. So let's have our brown yeti, since it's a yeti, let's have it make... Let's have it have five. Five health. Yeah. So let's make another one of these resources because that was pretty fun right so let's just make a new resource uh enemy resource and we'll make a blue fire and with the texture we're just going to grab our blue fire and since it's like fire it can it can get killed in two shots i bet so what do we do with these let's go into our enemy script so now with our enemy opened up and our enemy script opened up let's make a couple things let's make in a new on ready variable to uh let's make a new on ready var to reference our sprite so let's just do sprite equals dollar sign sprite simple as that we actually need to make the character have health so we're going to change our export variable health to an on ready var health so that it can change within the game and then we're going to go to our top of our script and make a new export variable called uh resource and we're going to add these little bra uh, uh we're going to add these little parentheses and make it a resource i can't type today so we'll save that and we actually have to give it a var name, obviously. And then when we go into our enemy, we can see that there's a resource that it needs. So let's give the resource our properties. So we'll do sprite.texture equals resource.texture and health equals resource.health. So we can start our game and see that it breaks. The reason why it breaks is because it is going on a nil texture. We don't want that to happen, do we? The reason why it's nil is because we're taking in these resources and we didn't actually add in any resources. So let's go into our main scene and put in two new resources for these guys. Let's put in our blue fire and our brown yeti. And then we can start our game and see that our enemies are invisible. But here's the thing. The health is going to be correct. So when we shoot to the left, we're going to see that this only has two health. 
when we shoot to the right, we're going to see that this takes five bullets. But they're still invisible. And why is that? Well, the reason why they're, why they're invisible is because we're taking in our transform. We're taking in our sprite and we're taking it in as a region. So instead of taking it as a region, we're going to just turn off texture and then we're also going to turn off region. So when we start our game, we'll see that, wow, look at that, our characters are put. Isn't that amazing? Our characters are now modular and they work as different resources. So look at this, I can make a completely new resource right now and make it an enemy resource, make it um, Godot icon because I don't have any other images. And then I can just add health, make it 10 health because it's, you know, it's the Godot icon. It's amazing. It's huge. And then I can drag in uh, a new enemy. And we'll make it like the final boss, you know, the final boss. And we'll make it a res we'll make the new resource and it's going to be the Godot icon resource. So when we start our game, we're going to just kill this guy and walk past it and look how big he is. The reason why it's so big is because we haven't edited the sprites transform, but I'm pretty sure you guys can handle that on your own. So let's just kill this guy. And Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next video. And thank you so much for 190 subscribers. I really hope we hit 200 really soon. Bye, everyone.